Okay, we started. I already know. So you're working on yourself here. This is for reading for Aries that are working on themselves. You guys financially are shifting your focus, freeing yourself. You're, you're, it's time to take back control of your life. I feel your past energy has really affected your dating life, period. And some of you have to come to terms with uh, just kind of giving yourself more alone time and change and there's nothing wrong with that okay so i know this because yeah this six this is like my six of swords you need to let things calm enjoy the bliss of holidays so maybe in the holidays you guys are gonna take a break right now here you go i feel nine of pentacles here you're focusing on yourself you're doing you finance and career you're just doing you this has been coming up forever so far codependency we've been healing this for aries and you deserve love i'm telling you I can make this up and again click off if this is not your read it's okay that's fine let's let another Aries enjoy you know and let their soul get soothed in a way why can't we do that for each other so this is finding you you're you're just you're just coming to terms some of you it could be therapy um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Mental health needs to be taken care of here, guys. It's it's just something that we need to do for ourselves if we want to align ourselves to good partnerships. So actually, I'm going to pull because the soul is obviously transitioning. Yeah, transformation. I knew it. You're going through a change. You are going through a change. This would be death energy in the tarot. You are shedding layers of your life. Some relationships and external factors that no longer serve your highest purpose must fade away. It must. Let's pay attention to the must because sometimes we cling on to things and thoughts and memories and it's not helping us. So it must, Spirit is saying it must fade away. Then we have live your soul's purpose. There is a greater purpose for you in this lifetime and you are encouraged to embrace it. Remember in all you do, demonstrate love and compassion. And last week was about lightening your energy. You got to find joy, joy in your heart, joy in your spirit. And so some of us have very hard and energy, right? Very air quality, like big walls. And of course, time alone. I'm not kidding you. Spend time alone. This is for singles. And for those of you who are struggling, spirit don't want you with anybody because you're not ready. Quiet introspection is needed. Disconnect, relax, turn off your electronics and just be it's okay it's okay to do this okay so there we go again you see how i told you guys my honeymoon card feels like my six of swords energy here we go moving on six of swords energy already coming out this is also a lot of harmony energy this came out in the general reads for this month in my general reads if you guys want to check about check out that check out that reading it's about harmonizing again six six of wands it's a lot about balance scales justice karma harmonizing your soul and um the sixes are in the major arcana is the lovers represent the six represents the lovers the lovers for me is the highest vibration of love unconditional love it's when we meet source that is the love for ourselves that's how we reach when you meet source your faith it's when you're gonna experience and heal and meet the highest vibration of love within yourself and then you're going to be able to have more healthy relationship it's a different love it's a different timeline also in your heart space you can see once you're healed you can see all of the traits and aspects of you once over overall from a different perspective and you know how much you've changed and learned and grown So crown chakra this is healing you're getting messages and seven is some of your life path number seven you already know you're a lone wolf 
a lot of the times we have to spend time alone that's why spirit is saying spend time alone this is spiritual journey life path number seven to even experience that is time alone <sighs> two of wands the waiting game this is contemplating and then four of cups discontent and boredom <laughs> can't make this up guys it's not a feel good moment but it's a learning moment and you're finding your way again and you have to do the work if not you're gonna constantly be in this energy right it's not gonna fix itself alone okay we're on the six of swords yeah there's an energy of optimism three of wands optimism looking forward making plans also making a plan um have a plan have a ritual a lot of you are really focused on your finances so maybe a lot of that is doing very well maybe that's where you're going to put a lot of your energy at the moment until you could resolve your emotions but this is about making plans ten of cups in the bottom you know what really speaks to your soul what really makes you happy you're on the six of wands you got to really get that more harmonized seven of swords again two of wands at the bottom that's this guy here the waiting game so there's a lot of contemplating of what makes you feel good the seven of swords i feel is again the the codependency and this is this is a thief and i feel this is you robbing yourself you're robbing yourself of your own soul growth six of wands your own growth do you remember the six of wands yep four of pentacles holding on so there's a clinging of some sort and that means also grounding because we got two fours here so that means you need to balance which is also probably why i'm feeling the nine of pentacles spending time alone grounding your energy game on the seven of swords knight of swords more swords energy i feel there's just an inconsistency with the emotions here give me one of the seven of swords six of cups another six and there goes the justice like i told you guys so the sixes have a lot about you balancing yourself your past it makes your mind it's robbing you it's still rob your past is still robbing your new timeline or the timeline you can't move forward to it's holding you back you gotta harmonize that six justice understand the karma understand the lessons understand why it happened accept it let go it can't come with you anymore because if not you're not going to move forward it's going to continue to keep you in the space and i know you don't want to okay we're on this two of wands this waiting game to me just speaks of giving yourself time until you really know what you want you need a yeah positive energy yep four of swords same energy another four and this four of swords in this deck means rest and rejuvenate so a recharge until you really elevate yourself see things differently see things with a more youthful spirit like i mentioned in the last read but i'm gonna say it again here it's a purge this is to really bring you more happiness so it, it is a waiting period because you you kind of have to sit with yourself here yeah heal three of swords game more of this four of cups more knight of swords energy and <laughs> this two of wands keeps popping up so we're going to take it because this explains this we're back to your energy is too i feel like it's combative is the word it's a combative energy and it constantly it's like a replay of the past six of cups right robbing you it's almost like you repeat someone here and i'm not saying it's all of you some of you keep repeating the same story and say but this is what happened to me oh this is what you know yeah okay okay it did but how do you change that story because there's at some point that story becomes too comfortable that any other story isn't and if even a positive one so give me one is four of cups eight of pentacles yep you gotta make the effort it's time to grow it's time to work on things in yourself and eight of pentacles you know how i'm feeling nine pentacles it's because you got to make the effort here to work on yourself so take a step back until you make you can make a clear decision here is what i'm saying 
So let, I'm going to pull an energy with a different deck on this codependency. Okay. <laughs> Nine of swords. I'm going to pull another one. So you guys don't believe that I'm making things. Yep. Five of pentacles. It's a repeat. I can't. Four of wands. I need to ground. And there goes the six of wands, which we just talked about with all these energies. Robbing the, the past is robbing you. And right now you need to level up, level out. It's really, um, I, do, I just feel a repeat of a story here. And it's just going to hold back this potential and a new life. If you want a new life, and this is a serious reading for someone out there who just, you know, is having a hard time transitioning. I'm going to pull some codependent energies here. What are the codependent energies? This is just for some of you. This may not resonate for everyone, but I'm going to do it anyway. What's the codependent energy here? Shame. You are not flawed. You are so worthy of love and belonging. Forgive yourself for not giving yourself enough self-love. We're back to this, guys. Deserve You deserve love. Free yourself. Knowing, knowing what you deserve, right? There's shame of not treating yourself better. And that could be an attachment too. And that, that could be, um, it's, it's part of the, the, oh my God, that four of pentacles energy, the thing that keeps you stuck because you just don't want to be ashamed anymore of maybe someone fooled you you know and that's just it happens so superficial you you care too much about what outward appearances start with your inner work your value your self-esteem your personality Oof. aries you guys know i'm sorry i'm not even gonna lie i dated an aries for 11 years 11 years i dated an aries and he was extremely superficial our relationship ended you know, he went to the country and still got another woman. And it's why, because they don't want to show, once you see their mask, they go and leave you. They are, and I'm saying, I'm just saying I dated an Aries, guys, but I also have another girlfriend who I no longer talk to who was an Aries um, and also is ending her relationship out of superficial stuff. I feel so bad. Her husband's amazing, but these are parts of growth that has to happen. And I think that part of um when we know our elements shadow in aries that's one for you when you you guys attach material things to your self-esteem so that's part of the shadow work right it's not a negative thing it's just awareness right we become aware so making sure we use it in ways that it works for us not against us right you can use it in ways to make you grow great have great careers start your own business um you know impact your your mother and father skills you know but there's an attachment here right you care too much about outward appearance start with your inner work some of you are dating and dating the wrong guys and girls because you're still about their appearance and not their not about their inside that's a reflection of not knowing your inside okay so that's another message there so let's see actually let's get another block let's get blockages here clearly spirit is screaming self-worth issues here right And that's common for everybody. Yep, exactly. Pain. The first steps is to acknowledge the pain. We have to acknowledge the pain. I feel the story, the, the energy I was telling you guys about repeating stories. It doesn't, it almost like there's no acknowledgement of the actual pain. It's just one of those things that there's a more of an attachment to the pain versus acknowledgement of it. I feel that that energy is very different when you're attached to the pain, you're codependent, right? So it's like you, that story will justify where you're at all the time. But when you acknowledge the pain, that means you have to take ownership and responsibility to move forward from the pain. And I feel this is the energy spirit is trying to really knock on your door here to help you do that. 
So let's see what we've got. Another lesson here. Rejection. Boom, boom, boom. This is a hard lesson. It's not you. So don't reject yourself. Rejection is divine intervention. So I really feel there's re there's divine intervention. Some of you are feeling very rejected with the dating world, but there's an energy of needing to come back to yourself, right? You know, spirit keeps saying, some of you are dating the wrong people. And so you're feeling rejected. Maybe you're not even honest about these people you're dating. And this could be a part of you that's probably superficial. And we have to come to, to, to terms with that. Some of you, it's embarrassment and not really knowing your self-worth, yeah, your self-worth, right? Forgive yourself for not giving yourself enough self-love. So give yourself. Is their rejection? It's just... And sometimes this is a catalyst when spirit and the cosmos give us lessons. This is why I do this is so you can understand where are your own triggers and then you figure the puzzles from there. I'm going to pull one more guidance and then we'd be done because I I know Aries don't like this kind of stuff, but whatever. You got to deal with it. Deal with it. Yep. There you go. Divine intervention and divine timing. The universe has got your back. It does. And sometimes they'll give it to you in this way even with my reading today. Tough love. That's the way the universe works sometimes to really get you moving to where you need to go. And from a place of love, that's what unconditional love is to see, to make, help you see. Trust that everything will be work out when the time is right for, for it. There is no such thing as a coincidence. So I'm gonna leave it there. I love you.